Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are going to make this gorgeous daisy granny square blanket. This is a great pattern for joining small granny squares up with larger ones. I'll show you exactly how to do it. To make this blanket the same size as mine, you will need 24 small daisy granny squares and six large daisy granny squares. The tutorial for the small granny squares is linked down below. And to make the large squares, just do two rows of the green, three rows of the lighter shade, and five rows of the darkest shade. Of course, you can use any color combination that you like, and you can also make your blanket any size that you like. My blanket measures 42 inches wide by 54 inches tall. That's 107 centimeters by 137 centimeters. If you'd like to follow along with our written patterns, available over on my website, secretyarnery.com. And you don't have to be able to read patterns. All of my patterns are written in plain English, just like I was sitting there right beside you. In this easy step-by-step -step crochet tutorial, you'll learn how to join as you go, join on two sides, three sides, and four sides. You'll join into a completed corner, continuous join as you go, and also how to edge your blanket so any border you put on will lay perfectly flat. To make the Daisy Granny Square blanket, kit. I used four worsted weight acrylic. I used these five colors here. This is favorite from Ice Yarns, but you can use any yarn you have at all. Five different colors. I used just a little bit of the yellow, maybe 50 grams. I used 100 grams of the green, 200 grams of the lavender or the lilac color here, and 300 grams of the dark purple, and about 500 grams of the white. I used a six millimeter crochet hook. You'll also need a pair of scissors and a needle for sewing in your ends. Here are the timestamps. You can jump back to the section you're working on. And let's get started. To start making your Daisy Square Granny Blanket, we're going to start by turning our four small squares into one big square. So you're going to need the same hook you used for your blocks and whatever color yarn you are joining. I'm going to show you how to join your small blocks into the large block with continuous join as you go. I really suggest you try this method. There's only going to be two ends to sew in when we're finished. And it goes really, really quick. So we're just going to be following the direction of this yarn. That is how we're going to be connecting our blocks continuously. So we have less tails to sew in. If you would like to join your squares with join as you go, but just one block at a time, you can follow that video up there. But I really suggest giving this method a try. You can totally do it. I'm going to walk you through it step by step. So let's get started. So get your two squares in front of you, grab your hook and your yarn. We're gonna start in this corner right here. I'm just gonna do a row of granny stitches all the way across. So put your hook into that corner, just into the space, a loop of yarn on your hook, bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail, you can hold it along the edge of your work. We can work over it for the next two stitches and chain two. One and two. Into that corner space, two double crochets. One and two. Drop your tail and now into each space all the way along our square, three double crochets. So same as we're doing for our granny squares. Nothing new yet. So three double crochets into each space all the way along the one side of your very first square. So you can pause the video and just keep working along. I'll meet you at our first corner. Three double crochets into our corner space. One. Two. and three. And now I'm going to go straight over into my next block. No chaining. I want a nice tight join between our squares. So just wrap your yarn and three double crochets straight into the next block. Just that same corner space we would always be working into. Three double crochets. 
And you can let your old block just hang there. You don't have to touch it anymore. It helps to work on a desk or a table or even your lap is fine. And now three double crochets into each space along this square and I will meet you at your corner. Into our corner space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Now we're gonna work around this block, so turn your work, and we're gonna finish this block here. This one here, we're gonna go all the way around. So chain two and finish this corner, so three more double crochets into that same corner space. Now you can pause the video and keep working around this entire block. Three double crochets into each space and corners, the same as you did for your granny square, three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets into that corner space. So do that all the way around and I'll meet you when we get over here. Now when you get to your corner, take a look at your other block and make sure your daisy is the right side up. Mine is the wrong side up. My cute petals are on the other side. So make sure we're not twisted around when we get to this stage. We want our stitches to be facing the same direction for our very first row where we started down here. Now into this corner space, I'm gonna finish my corner. So three double crochets. One, two, three, and now I'm gonna slip stitch in between these stitches right here. So right where my thumb is, I'm just gonna slip stitch. One slip stitch in between those other shells and chain one. So we have finished our one square. Now we're gonna let this square hang and we're going to work on our other square, making sure that your petals are facing up and you're working into the front of your square. Now we're gonna finish this corner. So three double crochets into that corner space. One, two, and three. So now we're gonna start joining our new block to our finished block. So put your finished block above and have the block you're working on closest to you. So we've done our three double crochets into that corner stitch. We're gonna slip stitch into the old block, into the block we finished. So just put your hook down in between those stitches, down into your work. Bring your yarn up any which way, up and through, and slip stitch. Wrap your yarn, and now we're gonna go straight in and do our three double crochets into our block that we're working on. So three double crochets into the next space of the block we're working on. There's two, here is three. Working on a table or a flat surface really helps. So if you're having a hard time, try using a flat surface and put your hook down into the space between the next shells, the next granny stitches. Hook down, grab your yarn, bringing it up, turn your hook and slip stitch right into the next space, three double crochets on the block you're working on. One, two, and three. Get yourself situated. Find the next space in between those double crochets. Put your hook down into your work. Hook your yarn, grab your yarn bring it up and through, and slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn, three double crochets into the next space. One, two, and three. Look for the next space of the granny square you have finished. Hook down into your work, grab your yarn, and bring it through and slip stitch to join. Three double crochets into the next space on the block you're working on. One, 
two and three. Put your hook down into the block you have finished, into the space. Grab your yarn and bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. And into the next space on the square you're working on, three double crochets. One. Two. And three. Into the block you have finished, put your hook down into that space and slip stitch to join. So grab your yarn and bring it up and slip stitch. Wrap your yarn into your corner space, three double crochets. One. Two. And three. And into your corner, slip stitch. Just into that corner space. Slip stitch and chain one. Now rotate your work a little bit. We're gonna finish off this one side of our block. So just all of these stitches along the one side. So three double crochets into your corner to finish that off. One. Two. And three. And into each space along the side, three double crochets into each space. So pause the video and finish off this side. Three double crochets into each space. Have you subscribed to this channel? Go ahead and hit this button under this video right now so you don't miss out on any more fun stuff just like this. So three double crochets into that corner space. So now we're ready to add our next two blocks or start our second row. So we're gonna start by working into this space of the granny square right above. So wrap your yarn and into that corner space, three double crochets. One. Two. And three. And now we're gonna put the work we finished, we always want our finished work on top. So just rotate our finished work above us. So now we're joining this block to our finished block right here. So I've done my three double crochets into that corner space. So I'm gonna look for the matching space on the block above and slip stitch to join. One slip stitch, wrap your yarn into the next space on the block we're joining, three double crochets. One. Two. and three. Into the next space, slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn, three double crochets into the space on the block we are joining. One, two, and three. You can lay all your blocks out flat again so you can see a little easier where to go. And into that next space, put your hook down into your work, bring your yarn up, and slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn into the next space, three double crochets. One. Two. And three. And into this next space, slip stitch to join. So hook down into your work, bring your yarn up, and slip stitch. Wrap your yarn, three double crochets, into the next space on the block we are joining. There's one, two, and three. Get your blocks all situated so you can see. I lay them down nice and flat in between my joins. You can pull your work back just to make sure you're not skipping any of these shells or granny stitches. Into the next space, one slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn, three double crochets into the next space on the block we are joining. 
there's two, there's three, get your blocks laying nice and flat again, look for the next space, so pull your work back so you can see that next space right here, and one slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn into our corner space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And now we're gonna join in our corner. We wanna join kitty corner. So from this corner here, we wanna join into this block. So from this corner, we wanna slip stitch into this next corner, the opposite corner. So slip stitch into the opposite corner space to join. And that finishes this block here for now. We want to get our next block and join this. So we're just joining on the one side, same as we did before, but now we're doing join as you go. So now we're going to join into this corner space right here and join one side of the next block. So wrap your yarn and into that corner space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Pull your work back so you can see that next space right here and slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn, three double crochets into the next space. One, two, and three. Lay everything flat, look for that next space, slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn and three double crochets into the next space of the block you are joining. There's one, two, here's three, into the next space, slip stitch to join. Into the next space of the block you're joining, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Lay your blocks all out nice and flat. Look for your next space in between those stitches and slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn, three double crochets into the next space of the block you are joining. It's one, two, and three. Into the next space on the block you have finished, slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn and three double crochets into the next space of the block we are joining. One, two, and three. Into the space, slip stitch to join on the block you have finished. Wrap your yarn and three double crochets into our corner space. One, two, and three. Into our corner space, slip stitch to join, and chain one. So we've joined the second row just on the one side. Now we're gonna rotate our work. So now this block here, the one we are working on, we're gonna work all the way around on all three sides. So finish this corner with three double crochets. One, two, and three. And now pause the video and keep working around this square on all three sides. I'll meet you when we get down to where our join is gonna be. When you get to that corner, we need to do our three double crochets to finish this corner space. One, two, and three. 
and now we're going to slip stitch kitty corner. So from where we are, we're gonna jump across to the opposite side. So find that corner space right there in between those stitches and we're gonna slip stitch to join. So you might wanna turn your work a little bit because we're gonna start working on this other side. So when I do my slip stitch, I get myself almost ready to start that side. So my hook's down, I just have to slip stitch and chain one to give ourselves a little bit of space. And I'm gonna finish this new corner right here with three double crochets. So I'm not gonna check my join or anything until I've finished these three double crochets. I don't wanna get confused on where I'm going. So there's our cute little join. And now we're just gonna work along this side, joining the block we're working on to the block we have finished. So put your hook down into that first space, bring your yarn up, and slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn, three double crochets into the block we're working on. One, two, and three. And you can see I'm not holding up my work or anything, I'm using a table or a desk or even your knees. If you put your knees up in bed, you can do it that way too. Put your hook down into that next space of the block you finished and slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn, three double crochets into the block you're working on. One, two, and three. Into the next space, slip stitch to join. And into the block you're working on, three double crochets into the next space. There's one, two, and three. Into the next space, slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn and into the next space of the block you're working on, three double crochets. Two and three. Into the next space of the block you finished, slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn, three double crochets into the next space of the block you're working on. One, two, and three. Slip stitch into the next space of the block you have finished one slip stitch to join, and into your corner, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Into the corner space of the block you finished, slip stitch to join, and chain one. So now we just get to finish these two sides. So rotate your work so we can finish this top side. Wrap your yarn, three double crochets into that same corner space. One, two, and three. And I'll pause the video and work along finishing this side and starting this side, and I'll meet you back when we are right here. When we get to our join, three double crochets to finish that corner. One, two, and three. Into the corner space in between those two blocks, one slip stitch, and chain one. Wrap your yarn and into that next corner space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And now you can pause the video and just finish this side, three double crochets into each space, and I'll meet you at the corner. Into that corner space, three double crochets to finish the corner. One, two, and 
three, chain two, one, and two. And now we're gonna slip stitch to the top of the chain three to join. So the top of the chain three is right there. We wanna get two strands of that stitch on the top of our hook. So just poke your hook in, two strands on the top of your hook, and slip stitch to join. Chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. And there is your joined block. All you have to do is sew in your two tails and you're finished. So now go ahead and repeat this, making all of your small blocks into big blocks. So once all your blocks are joined up, we are ready to make our blanket. When you've made all of your blocks, lay them all out so you can see your pattern and you'll know which blocks to pick up and join as you go. Depending on how many sides we're gonna be joining, we wanna do our empty sides first. So if we're joining on three sides, I wanna finish this one side first. If you're only gonna be joining on two sides, then you're gonna finish two sides of your square first. So I'm gonna be showing you how to join on three sides. So I'm just gonna be doing one side. So I'm gonna meet you when we get to this corner. So I finished my one side. I'm just gonna rotate my work. Make sure that your daisy flowers are facing up, that the texture's on this one side. Get the block you're joining to, your completed block up above you. So I've done my three double crochets into that corner space. Now I'm going to slip stitch down into the work I have finished. So down into the corner of the work I have finished. Hook down, yarn up, and slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn and into the same corner space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Pull your hook towards you so you can see your stitches up above of the block we have completed. Put your hook down into that next space. Bring your yarn back up and slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn, three double crochets into the next space on the block we are joining. One, two, and three. Look for that next space in the block we have finished. Put your hook down, bring your yarn up, and slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Down into your work, into the next space, slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn, three double crochets into the block you are working on. One, two, and three. Get your hook out of the way so you can see your next space and slip stitch into that space to join. Wrap your yarn into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three, into the space, slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Into the next space of the block you have finished, slip stitch to join. Three double crochets into your next space on the block you're working on. One, two, and three. Now into this center join, we're just gonna find that space in between our blocks. So just put your hook down into that space and make one slip stitch. 
just like that. And now keep going three double crochets into each space. One, two, three, and slip stitch in to the block you have finished. Just like that. Wrap your yarn, three double crochets into the block we are working on. One, two, and three. Into the space on the block we are joining to, one slip stitch to join. Three double crochets into the block we are working on. One, two, and three. Into the block we have finished, slip stitch to join into that next space. Into the block we are joining, three double crochets into the next space. One, two, and three. Into the block we finished, slip stitch to join into that next space. Wrap your yarn, three double crochets into the block we are joining. One, two, and three. Slip stitch into the block we finished into that next space to join and three double crochets into the block we're joining. One, two, and three. Into the block we have finished, slip stitch into that space to join. And into our corner space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Into that corner, slip stitch to join. Just the corner space, slip stitch, chain one. Rotate your work. Get your new block above you. We always wanna be joining above. And now we're gonna slip stitch into this corner space on the block we're joining to. So slip stitch into that space. Wrap your yarn and into that corner space on the block we're joining, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Slip stitch into that next space on the block you have finished. Slip stitch. And now we're gonna do three double crochets into the next space with a slip stitch, three double crochets with a slip stitch, three double crochets with a slip stitch, all the way along until we get to this join here. So pause the video and work your way along, three double crochets with a slip stitch, and I'll meet you when we get to this join. Just so we can do that join again together. Now into this center join, we're just gonna find that space in between our blocks. So just put your hook down into that space and make one slip stitch. Wrap your yarn and now just keep going like usual, doing your three double crochets into the block you are joining. And a slip stitch into the block you have finished. So now pause the video and I'll meet you when we get to this corner. After my three double crochets into that corner space, slip stitch to join. So now you can pause the video and repeat what we just did on this side on the third side. Or if you're only joining on the two sides, you can just finish off your granny square. At the end of your row, right where we started, I've done my three double crochets into that corner space. So slip stitch into the corner to join. Chain one and slip stitch to the top of that chain three. Top of the chain three, two strands of that stitch on the top of your hook, one slip stitch. Chain one to secure your yarn. 
Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. So now we've joined our new block on three sides and now I'll show you how to join in a corner. So go lay your big block that we just made, our four squares together, down with your other squares and see which next square you're gonna join and also grab whatever block is touching it. So we need our next block to join here plus whatever's touching it, this block here. So now I'm gonna be joining again on three sides, same as we did before, except I'll show you how to join into a corner that is finished. So pause the video, start your block on the one side completed just by itself. Join on your second side, just like we've done before, and I'll show you how to do this join in a corner right here. So I've done my three double crochets into that corner space, and now we're just gonna slip stitch kitty corner, just like we did with our smaller blocks. So just put your hook over, find that center space, that corner space, hook down, and slip stitch. You wanna have some tension. These joins are where all of the tension is gonna be, so we don't need it to be loose. And then rotate your work. And then keep going, just doing your regular three double crochets with a slip stitch to join. And now keep going, joining the rest of your sides. Depending on how big your blanket is, you might have some of these blocks where you have to join on all four sides. We're gonna do it exactly the same as we have been doing, nothing new, except how we start. So I'm just gonna show you how to start if you're joining on all four sides. Just for convenience, this is my big joined piece on this side. So I'm gonna join these two sides last. I'm gonna start right here, just so I have less blanket on my lap while I'm joining. So I'm gonna start in this corner here and attach right here. Then I'm working around, doing my second loose square, and then I'm gonna join all of this onto the, my big blanket piece. It doesn't totally matter which corner you start in, but if you save the big bulky part for last, it might be a little more pleasant. So I'm just gonna pop in my hook and get myself situated. Now, instead of starting with a row of granny stitches for our outside round, we are just gonna start straight away joining. So hook into that corner space, loop of yarn on your hook, bring it through, slip stitch with both strands to join, drop your tail, just holding it along your work, so we could work over it a little bit, and chain two. One and two. Now right here is where we have to slip stitch. So down into your work, grab your yarn, bring it up, and slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn and two double crochets into this corner space. So that's gonna start our corner, one and two. So now keep going from here, joining as we always have been, and this block will join on all four sides. When all of your squares are joined up, you have made your blanket, it is time to make the edge the same thickness as our joins in the middle. So our joins are two rows. So we're gonna put another row on the outside. I just wanna show you how to navigate these join areas so that your stitch count remains perfect. Join your yarn in any corner space, just with a slip stitch as we always do, and chain two, one, and two. Two double crochets into that same space. So three double crochets into each space all the way along. You can pause the video and I will meet you when we get to our join. So the join counts as three stitches, so just one shell. So into our first corner before the join, we're gonna do one double crochet We're gonna start our second double crochet, but we're not gonna finish it into the same corner space. Leave those two loops on your hook. Now we're gonna start another double crochet into the corner space on the other side of the join. So wrap your yarn and start another double crochet. 
three loops on your hook, wrap your yarn, and take off all three loops. And one more double crochet into that same corner space. So that is how we're going to do our joins. That is our three double crochets, or our three stitches. One, two, three. And that's what we're going to do at every join. So pause the video and work ahead. I'll meet you at your next join. At every join, we have our two corners, one before the join and one after the join. Before the join, one double crochet that we finish. So one complete double crochet. And we're going to start a second double crochet into that first corner space, but leave it on your hook. Into the space after the join, we're going to start another double crochet. Three loops on your hook. We're going to finish those together like that. And now wrap your yarn and one full double crochet, a complete double crochet, into that corner space after the join. So we're going to do this for every join, and that's how we keep the correct stitch count so your blanket doesn't go all wavy if you put on a border. So I'll pause the video and keep working around, and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. When you get back to where we started, three double crochets into that last corner space. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, and two and slip stitch to the top of that chain three to join. Chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Sew in your tails and you're finished. So I hope you enjoyed making this blanket as much as I did. I'm waiting for you in this video. Stay hooked.